Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while since I've posted a plan with me, um, but I'm finally back today and I'm ready to film and plan. Um, it's been quite a busy summer with my parents visiting and me being out of town and stuff, so I apologize for the videos coming really slow, um, but thank you for bearing with me as always and for supporting my channel. Um, for today, I will be memory planning the week of May 27th through June 2nd, and this was so long ago because we're already in mid-July, but um, I still definitely want to journal and memory plan this week, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, the kit that I'm using this week is really gorgeous. This is from a shop called Regina Laughs, and um, for this kit, I think it's called Freshly Squeezed. It's um, written down here, and the kit comes with this little sampler sheet that has like some functional icons and some boxes. And then on this page, we have all the full boxes. So it's a lemonade slash lemon theme kit, which I think is so cute, especially with like this wood pattern and the string lights, which are some of my very favorite things. And here we have the bottom washi, which is so perfect. And we have some washi strips. On this page, we have a few pieces of deco. We've got sidebar trackers, um, a heart checklist, and some headers. And then the last page that is included in this kit has a gorgeous weekend banner up here. We've got all the functional boxes, some flags, some heart checklists, and then these circle icons at the bottom. I'm really excited to use this kit. I've held onto it for um, quite a few months now and I'm finally able to use it. So without further ado, I wanna jump right in. It's been so, so long since I've planned, so I'm really excited to do this. Because it's been so long since I've planned, I definitely felt like it was a little rough jumping back into it. Um, so you'll see me kind of switching things up quite a lot because I was really indecisive and I didn't know how I wanted to um, plan out this week. And so for the bottom washi, I first decided to put down a strip of the Simply Gilded washi, and then I placed down the bottom washi that came with the kit. I just trimmed it down so that it fit the remaining space. And somewhere in the middle of my planning, I realized that the kit had included a second strip of bottom washi that would have been so pretty over the wood in one but um, it was kind of too late to switch it up so I just left it as is and then I moved to my sidebar and I placed down the lemonade stand box as the top corner box because that one is definitely one of my favorites I think it's so cute um, instead of putting down a flag in the top corner I decided to put down a piece of deco to fill that space I then continued to build the sidebar. So first I put down a strip of washi and that gold foiled this week header is from Magic Prints Co. Then I put down a habit tracker to track my working out. And then I think that pink quarter box was from a Regina Laugh sampler that I had gotten. I don't think it was part of the kit because I don't remember the kit having rounded boxes, but um, it's been a while since I filmed this, so I might be wrong. I used um, the heart checklist for my happy moments. And then I put down a quarter box with the Monday through Sunday tracker for my dinner. That utensil sticker I pulled in is from a shop that's no longer open, and then I used a gold foiled heart from Hazel sticker to mark the happy moments. Then moving to the rest of the spread, the first thing I did on Monday is put down a half box, and this gold foiled Memorial Day sticker is from Chic Blossom Prints. I just got those um, gold foiled holiday stickers and I really like them. So as I mentioned, Monday was Memorial Day, so I did not have work that day, and um, I had slept over at a friend's house the night before, so I just wanted to mark that I had woken up at her place because I felt like I would forget. Um, so to do that, I used a, um, a flag with a pillow sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I didn't like the way that I wrote my friend's name, and so I whited it out and rewrote it on a small strip of sticker paper. Um, but later on, I do think I switch it up again because um, I wanted to do cursive that was like a little bit more dainty rather than like cutesy. You'll kind of see that through the spread. Um, so anyways, the first thing we did was grab some coffee. So I used a, um, a washi strip with a coffee sticker from Peanut Butter Taco. Then this is where I went back and rewrote my friend's name in just regular print because, um, like I said, I just didn't want to use that cutesy kind of cursive for this spread. And then um, I put down a full box at the bottom of the day because I already knew that's where I wanted it. And then I decided I would pull in the Simply Gilded Washi every other day in my spread. So I lifted up the coffee sticker to place down a strip of that washi above it. After I replaced the coffee sticker, I put down a car sticker from Paper Bear Co. And this is a shop that is relatively new for me and I love her stickers, they're so cute. And um, I use that to mark that my friend and I drove home from our other friend's house where we were staying. And then my boyfriend and I went over to another friend's house to play some board games for the rest of the day. And that board game sticker is from um, Happy Dia Stickers. On the full box, um, because it was a little empty, it had a lot of white space, I decided to put down this um, really cute phone sticker and that was in my leftover sampler, so I don't remember what shop that's from, but I used that to mark that I talked to my sister on the phone that night. 
Then moving to Tuesday, I first put down a header at the top and then I used the scallop label that came in the kit with a gold foil paper clip from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I had to drop off something in the morning that was related to work. And then I put down a half box with a gold foiled bow sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that I treated myself to some Thai food for lunch. It's definitely one of my favorite spots that's close to my work. And so whenever I'm having like a hard day or if I just have some extra time, I just want to treat myself. Um, that's generally what I like to pick up. And then on the full box I put down, I use that to mark my meetings. Um, the alarm clock sticker came with the kit and the IEP flag came from Lily Grove Designs. When I got home, I worked out. It was a pretty uneventful week, to be honest. Um, so I used a washi strip and used that as kind of a header. And then I placed down this workout girl from Paper Princess Plans that I really like to use. And then at the bottom, I put down a quarter box. This is where I discovered that the kit had come with this really cute scallop like bottom washi and um, because I wasn't able to pull it into my bottom washi, I decided to use it in the spread and I really like how it's scalloped at the bottom. I think it's super cute. And then at the bottom, I lifted up the quarter box and replaced it with a half box instead. That computer sticker is from Sticker Blush and the gold foiled edit sticker I believe is from Magic Prints Co. I used that to mark that I edited a haul that evening. Moving to Wednesday, um, Wednesday was another pretty uneventful day, so I definitely needed to take up some space. Um, so to do that, I put down a full box at the top and use that to mark that it was a really busy day at work. Um, that Working Girl sticker is from Paper Bear Co. And it's, again, one of my favorites. She's so cute. And then I used a yellow quarter box with like an annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we had no internet at work for a little bit, um, which is really annoying because so much of what we do is like internet-based. So um, that was just like really frustrating and then I used an IEP sticker from Happy Dia stickers they're so cute with like the little animal peeking out of it and um, I used that to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon then I put down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi with a half box and um, I used that to mark that I did a Tabata workout that day um, the dumbbell stickers I don't remember where those are from and then um, I used a I think that's a quarter box with a computer sticker which is also for my little leftovers book so again I don't know where that's from but I used that to mark that I edited another video and then at the end of the night I pretty much just relaxed so I decided to pull in this me time sticker from hey soul sticker as well as a gold foiled heart from clever gal crafts then moving to Thursday, I put down the full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And I really like that full box. I think it's so cute. So I decided to use it in the center of my spread. Then moving back to the top, I used a today header, I believe at the top. And then I used another IEP sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark a morning meeting that I had. I then drove to my other school because I had a couple of their meetings that afternoon, I believe. Um, so to mark that, I put down a, um, I think it's a quarter box and that car sticker is from Hello Petite Paper. I used a half box with another IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark that meeting that I had. And then when I got home, I did a workout. So I used a shoe sticker and I believe that one is from Simply Laura Paper Shop. We did date night that night, so I put down a date night sticker from Randy.Plans, and that gold foiled heart is from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And then on that washi strip, I put down a gold foiled bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I had FaceTime one of my friends that night. That is it for Thursday, so I move on to Friday. I first started by putting down a Simply Gilded washi strip at the top, and then I decided to switch out the header on Thursday, and I don't remember why, but I decided to switch it for this colorful washi instead. And then um, continuing with Friday, I first put down this um, half box that had like the flag banner across it, which is perfect for marking Friday. And then I had something to do at work that morning, so I used a paperclip sticker that came with the kit to mark that, and then I put down a full box um, to mark my two IEP meetings that I had later that afternoon. Both of those IEP flags are from Lily Grove Designs. I did a workout when I got home, so I used a scallop label with a shoe sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that. And then um, we went to Trader Joe's to get some groceries, so I pulled in this gold foiled grocery icon from Hey Soul Sticker. At the end of the night, we binge watched um, this show called Kim's Convenience, which is so good. And um, to mark that, I pulled in this Laptop Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co., even though we watched it on the TV, but she looks so cozy and comfortable, so I just wanted to use that sticker. And then moving to the weekend, I first started by using the weekend banner at the top, and I love how gorgeous it is. And then I used a full box at the top of Saturday to begin the weekend. I put down a washi strip with a gold foiled money icon from Planning World because 
because um, Saturday was the last day that our house was getting painted. They were finishing up the project, so I definitely had to pay the painters for their work that day. And then I used a today header with a three heart checklist from the kit to mark some things that I did. Um, one of them was paint my nails, so I used this really cute OPI nail polish sticker, but that shop is no longer opened, unfortunately. And then I also filmed, so that gold foiled film sticker is from Magic Prince Co. I then got ready, which I put on a quarter box, and that makeup sticker is from Chasing Chels. It's one of my favorites. I think it's so gorgeous. And then later that day, we met up with some friends at a meadery, and then we all went to a brewery together. Um, so we got some drinks and played some games, um, and it was just a really good time. So I used a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that. Originally, I decided to kind of like write over the sticker, but I didn't like how that turned out. So I ended up whiting it out and um, I used a pencil to fill in like the missing spots of the beer sticker. I hope that makes sense. But anyways, then on Sunday, um, I had put down a book flight sticker from Hello Petite Paper. It's part of her travel sheet. And um, that day I had booked my flight to Montana for the summer and I actually just got back from that trip. So it's kind of crazy that I'm now just journaling the week where I bought those tickets. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm so behind. Um, above that, I used a full box and then I had some trouble just kind of figuring out how I wanted to mark the rest of the day. I definitely had quite a bit going on, but I had to pick and choose what I felt were like the most important things that I wanted to mark. And so initially I put down a quarter box and then I realized I wanted to include a simply gilded washi. So I go ahead and do that. And then on that day, we actually went and watched Aladdin, which I thought was really, really good. I know there's a lot of controversy with the casting, but with that aside, I felt like the movie was done really well overall, and I really liked the new song that they included. And um, anyways, then in the remaining space at the top, I decided to pull in a checklist to mark the things that I had done that morning. And one of them was getting boba, so I used a boba sticker from Paper and Milk. I then decided to put down a noodle sticker on the full box. That one is from A Happy Blue Tree, and I use that to mark where we had gotten some dinner after watching the movie. So that is the last thing that I'm including in this spread. Now I'm just going back into my sidebar and tracking my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners as I usually do. And then I've been doing a countdown to the last day of school, which again, feels so far away now, um, but I pulled in these gold foiled um, countdown stickers from Rose Color Days. And then because the kit came with so many pretty deco pieces, I decided Decided to sprinkle them at the top especially because I didn't pull in any date covers um, for the spread so once I finished with all of that I white out the flag and also put a deco sticker on top of that and now I'm just doing a quick wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that's in the spread and yeah that is it for this week's plan with me um, I love how this turned out I really really love this kit and Regina laughs has easily become one of my new favorite shops I highly suggest you guys check her out she has some really really pretty kits so yeah even though this is super late um, I really enjoyed putting this together. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as well. I know some of you have mentioned that you don't really mind um, the late posts because you could watch like any spread anytime. But if any of you do mind posts that are out of season, um, I do apologize for that and hope that at some point, I don't know when, but at some point, maybe I will be able to catch up and just be more on top of my spreads. But I guess we'll see. So anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.